I grew up in Easter House. I lived here until I was 17 and I've lived all of my life in the East End of Glasgow. I'm really passionate about the area, passionate about helping people to make change to the area that they want to see and hopefully people get involved with Thriving Places. There's been masses of change. I grew up on Mordy Road where right across the road there was a big farm. It was an amazing place to grow up in. Historically it's had a bad reputation. Media has given Easter House a bad reputation. It's got a great sense of community everywhere you go. Obviously it's got problems like everywhere else, but people are proud to live here. There's so many things happening in Easter House. I've been here since April, and most of that time I have spent getting out, talking to all of the different organisations, talking to people who are putting on activities within the area. I've spoke to loads and loads of local residents to find out what they like about living here, what things they think have been challenges, what things can be better. Um, so that's pretty much what I've been doing. I've also been involved with looking at the new Pathfinder website being created at the moment. And again, that will have everything that's happening in the Easter House, whether it be groups, how to get in touch with your local counsellor surgeries. We'll have absolutely every piece of information that we can find that's happening in the Easter House will be on that website. People are maybe feeling, a lot of the time people present with a lot of mental health issues, things like depression, a sort of low levels of anxiety, and it's really looking at, you know, what can the person what they're interested in, you know, to try and maybe alleviate some of these symptoms. So often medication is one part of it, but equally another part of it is to look at, you know, engaging that person maybe within their community. So it could be engaging within a, a sport and fitness group. It could be looking at a local sort of arts uh, group. It could be going out for a local, a local walk. You know, it's something that I do within the practice is organise a local health walks. So again, it's just part of bringing people into surgery, introducing to activity and hopefully maybe increasing their sort of uh, confidence and their self-esteem and hopefully having an impact on the anxiety and, and the depression and maybe hopefully they're looking at maybe engaging in further activities within the community. Well the main thing in the shopping centre we've now got public toilets. They have recently just opened which is a thing that the centre hasn't had for a number of years uh, so that's made a big difference to the shopping centre. Um, also we've been rebranded, it was known obviously as Shandwick Square, it's now known as the Locks Shopping Centre. Okay. Um, the decor outside has been painted uh, and also we've had new lights in the main mall and we have also had um, refurbished heating as well. The Seven Locks project I guess started almost 10 years ago now. Uh, when the first studies started to identify this area as an area where there was a fantastic resource of, of heritage, but also it was an area for planned new community growth, new housing development. And they offered the grant of four and a half million pounds for a major heritage project to create what we are calling the Seven Locks Wetland Park as a new heritage and nature park, as a visitor destination and as a resource for local people. I guess the main way that local people have been involved so far is through our volunteering programme, our uh, community events programme and also our outdoor education programme. This site we're standing next to uh, just now, if you'd come here maybe six months ago, you'd have been looking across an area of old blaze pitches, old blaze football pitches that were pretty much derelict and unused. Um, so there was an, an opportunity to get hold of some other funding from uh, Scottish Natural Heritage for projects to transform unused green spaces. In the last year, we've got two new community councils. We have got a fabulous new community council um, that is in the Phoenix Centre and that is on the third Tuesday of every month. Um, the one in Garthamlock is the last Wednesday of every month and we are really looking for people to get involved so that they've got a say in their area. It's, if people want things to change and they really want to have their say heard, then I would really encourage them to be involved with things like the community councils because they are the people that are making the change happen. Thriving Places is all about local people getting involved um, to come and help change the area. We've got an action plan and the action plan has got some things that need to be changed in the area. People want change, but have we got it right? We've got Glasgow City Council, we've got the police, we've got the fire service, we've got lots of big organisations, but we really need the people of Easter House to be involved in this. How do they get involved? First thing I would say is to get in contact with myself. We've got a Facebook page um, and on that we post up as much as possible about what's happening in Easter House. Um, communication is really important and that's the biggest thing that 
the biggest feedback that I've had is that we don't know what's happening. So I will endeavour at any point that I find out anything that's happening in Easter House to get it posted up on Facebook and Twitter. Um, we've got Instagram, I'm not really great at that, but that will get better. Um, yeah, and that's it.